and it has the expertise in various domains, including minerals and materials, artificial intelligence, climate science, smart infrastructure, renewable energy, and semiconductor devices and integrated circuits. Tracing the paradigm shifts, I can say I am myself a student of IIT system. I have done my BTEC from IIT Madras in the year 83. So I have observed the IIT system right from my student days to a faculty span of about 30 years. So the paradigm shifts that have occurred are the following. IITs were initially envisioned as institutions for generating new knowledge in the form of research papers, as well as for producing high quality human resources for industries, defense, research labs, and educational institutions. Later, the institutions were tasked with applying their expertise to address societal problems through sponsored research and consultancy projects. In recent years, the IITs have started contributing to wealth generation by fostering entrepreneurs and supporting startup in incubation via establishment of research and entrepreneurship parks. This is the mandate of NEP 2020 as well. Also in line with this mandate is the commencement of integrated teacher education program at IIT Bhuneshwar from this year that envisages cultivation of exceptional teachers for school education. As is known, after independence, India's first 25 years focused on agriculture, the next 25 years on infrastructure, the third 25 years on service sector and information. The next 25 years will be driven by startups. India has substantially improved its global innovation rank from 76 in 2014 to 40 in 2023. The 100 Cube Startup Initiative promises to help improve the rank further by nurturing startups inclusive of gender, sector, and geography using a mind to market strategy. The launch event on February 11 will feature parallel technical workshops for faculty and startups conducted by faculty heads of research parks of IITs, industrialists, and venture capitalists during 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. This will be followed by signing of MOUs with nearly 20 industries, 30 startups, and 30 venture capitalists during 2 to 4 p.m. to build strategic collaborations for achieving the 100 cube objective. During the afternoon event, the Honorable Minister will also officially open the 1,500-seater auditorium hosting the event and lay the e-foundation for infrastructure projects worth rupees 450 crore. So I would invite all of you to come and see the auditorium on February 11th. I am sure it is going to be one of the unique auditoriums in the city. In essence, the 100 Cube Startup Initiative marks a significant milestone in IIT Bhuvaneshwar's journey towards establishing Odisha as a hub of entrepreneurship and nurturing the startup culture in the country. Thank you. These startups, I have, as I have mentioned to you, the IIT has technical expertise in the area of minerals, materials, artificial intelligence, climate science, smart infrastructure, renewable energy, semiconductor devices, and integrated circuits. So the startups can be from any of these areas. So at present, uh, say for example, we have startups who are work developing electrical vehicles. Okay, we have startups who are developing fish feeds. Okay, so ranging from you know, deep tech technology to uh, agriculture to, you know, Odisha craft related startups. We also have startups who are working on software related things, for example, virtual and augmented reality. So we are spanning across all major domains. Okay. So I think I should mention uh, people who are sitting here are faculty of IIT Bhuneshwar who are members of the board of the research park. So each of them have their own specialities. They can also answer. And the next, sitting next to me is registrar of uh, IIT Madras. Sir, this 100 uh, startup will be in Odisha or outside of Odisha? These startups will be in IIT campus, in the research and entrepreneurship part. So 100 cube is a big vision. Okay. 
So obviously we are focusing, we are, we are uh, aligning with the PM's vision. Okay, so we are focusing towards the eastern part of the country. So the startups will be around the state of Odisha, but IIT Bhubaneswar will act as a hub where all these startups will work as a spoke. Okay, because in eastern India there are, you know, uh, there are good opportunities and probably, you know, we should explore that. That means you are welcome to other side of uh, uh, entrepreneur or inside of your student. No, we are uh, encouraging outside students. So it, will, it will be a spoke and hub model. Jo, uh, jo IIT is a spoke bhaadya, uh, hub bhaadya kamo garibha. Aau chat tari are jo institutes avu achi amara. Tanku tvi pila ani ki beat any college, state colleges sabu. Tanku pila ku encourage karabha ki asi ki IIT Bhunishar faculty members se ta kamo karantu. Kichi nuha sikantu. That means you guide to, uh, oh, right. guide and encourage to uh, right. uh. start up to create new things or idea. Right. It is a big part of the world's world model. It is a big part of the Western India that has been developed. It is a big part of the model. Sir, you are the only ITEP, uh, ITEP is asking. Uh, no, so, Acha. Okay, so, the agent is going to be a good person. The agent is going to be a good person. The agent is going to be a good person. The agent is going to be a good person. The agent is going to be a good person. The agent is going to be a good person. The agent is going to be a good person. The agent is going to be a good person. The agent is going to से माने आउट ऑफ स्टेट रे केते जिबे कि पर्टिकुलरली आपण वर्ष को केते शिक्षक माने बाहरबे तालीम प्राप्त सेटा ठीक को एक्चुअली एटा जोटा एटा को हमें आईटे प्रोग्राम बोली कहू छु एठी हमें शिक्षक को तालीम दो नांदी एक्चुअली एटा हो छे भारत सरकार नक रजोटा कमरा बीए बीएड प्रोग्राम अछि बा बीएससी बीएड प्रोग्राम अछि इट इज एन इंटीग्रेटेड प्रोग्राम जने आगरू कौन होता था कि जने बीए कर तो लाभ बीएसी कर तो लाभ तापरे पुणी बीएड पाई सेपरेटली एप्लीकेशन भर तो लाए सेटी इधर को एडमिशन मेडिले से बीएड कर तो लाए देन ही वाज एलिजिबल जाती है अपनों को हमारे वीडियो टी बहुत लगी ला तबे हमारे चैनल को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करें बाकी जमा भी बोलों तो नहीं